two, three, listen. Hey everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you back to the Data Hub Collection. Today, we're going to go over how to use NiFi within CDP Public Cloud to set up a flow that extracts data from a relational database and brings it neatly into a data warehouse, also within CDP Public Cloud. We're going to start off with three tables, named Location, Vaccine, and Vaccination Rate, that house mock data relating to CDC operations. You'll see these are stored in a traditional database format, and we can query them just like you would any other table. An important note here is that we've created all these tables under the same schema, CDC, in order to make our lives much easier down the line. On the CDP Public Cloud side, we spooled up only one data hub hosting NiFi. If we go into our NiFi UI, we're going to quickly go over the flow that we've set up to pull our CDC data into our data warehouse. First, we're going to pull a list of all the tables we'd like to grab data from. This is going to be easy since we've set all our tables to be within the CDC schema. Now that we've pulled a list of tables, we'll do a simple select query in our generate query processor and we'll execute it via the select CDC data processor. Note that we've set up the database connection beforehand, but it's quite simple to do via NiFi. You only need the connection string, credentials, and the drivers that you plan on using. Once we have our results back for each of our three queries, we simply convert them into CSVs and rename them before pointing them to an S3 location. Now that everything is set up, we can go ahead and run our processors to push all our data into S3. Just like that, we've already got our data out of a traditional database and into our cloud storage location. Now before we go create our Hive tables, we'll take a quick peek into our S3 bucket to verify the data we just exported is in the format we expect. If we go to the location folder, we can see that sure enough, the data looks the same. So now that we have our data out, Let's see how we can import it into a data warehouse for further use within CDP Public Cloud. Going into the CDP control plane, we'll slide over to data warehouses. You'll see we've created a virtual warehouse here, and we'll be opening up the Data Analytics Studio to interact with our data. Once in the Data Analytics Studio, our first step will be to create our new Hive database that we'll name CDC. With our database created, we'll simply need to create new tables within this database that point at the locations in S3 into which we store the CSVs. You'll see we've made three queries for each table. The first query creates an external table referencing the CSV that we stored in S3. The following one creates a new table with the same schema but in an optimized row columnar format, which gives us advantages down the line if we were to run Spark jobs on this data. The last query will take records from our CSV in the reference table and insert them into our new Hive table. Now we'll go ahead and run these queries for all three of our tables. Once it's done, we'll have our data stored in Hive tables within our data warehouse. Now just to do some quick checks, we can run normal queries against our data from within the Data Analytics Studio. From here, you can begin to migrate your processes and take advantage of all the benefits of having your data within CDP Public Cloud. Thanks a lot for watching today. Please let us know in the comments if there's any topics you'd like us to cover, and subscribe to be notified whenever any new videos are released. If you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cloudera community. We'll include a link in the description below.